Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and again I have another tutorial this week. This one is a CSS related tutorial about how to make dotted lines that connect text on both sides um, like a restaurant menu where you have like the name of the item and then the price. So you know a steak and then dot 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 and then you know whatever the price is on the other side and then you have another item and no matter how wide the text of those items is, the dots automatically fill in the gap. Pretty cool. It's a little bit difficult to achieve, but we've uh, boiled it down to a handy little CSS snippet in this tutorial that you can use. And um, you can use this to make your restaurant menus and maybe something else too. I'm sure there's other use cases as well. So let's take a look at this. So over here on my blog, you can see even my screenshot there. Um, it is you know pretty obvious what we're doing, I hope. Um, but we're going to add those dots. And again, like I said, it's automatic. It fills in whatever the gap is. You know, these are different length, and the, the prices are different length there and that. Um, but anyway, first thing to do is to set up the text. And we're using a bullet list or an unordered list. Um, it's not a, an ordered list, it's unordered because it's, you know, bullet points. And really just go ahead and set that up. That's really the first step. Um, write the text that you want on, you know, the left side. And then it's, it's going to feel a little strange, but right after that, without any space, write the, the, the number, like in this case, if it's a number, like the price on the other side. So let me just walk you through that. Here I have a text module and I'll just go ahead and, and get rid of that. What I'm going to do, in fact, let's just do like a, a restaurant menu. So if I say steak, then I'm going to put a dollar sign for me and I'm going to just say um, how much, I don't even know how much, yeah, that should cost, but let's just say $17.95. And again, it's kind of feel a little bit strange, like there's no space. Um, and then let's say um, burger. The main thing here then is to make a bullet list. So I'm going to click on bullet list right here. So you can see, you know, pretty clearly what we're doing. This is what's going to actually turn in to, you know, the, the steaks and burgers on the left. And then the price is going to be way on the right. It's going to be like justified. The main thing here is to switch over to the text tab. Now this should be called HTML. I'm not sure why it's not. So it's visual and then text. What it means is HTML. So now here we are. You can see there's an unordered list and then the list item. And then you can you see that steaks and burgers are in list items. That's very important. Um, let's get back to the tutorial. This You can um, follow along here a little bit where I'm switching to the text. Here I'm actually giving you the, act, um, the actual HTML if you're a little nervous about this next step. We're adding span tags. It's, it, it's really easy. Once you do it once, you can copy and paste, but we're adding span tags. And you can actually see right here, list item, and then span, label, closing span. Span, value, closing span, and then closing list item. That's what we're going to do. I'm gonna actually jump in here and just type it. So I'm gonna say span. And then move to the other side of steaks. Oops, close up writing closing. Span like that. Now we're gonna do it again. Span. When you close, you always put the forward slash in there. Alright, there we go. And now I'll do the same thing for burger. Okay, and of course nothing's going to happen yet because we haven't added the CSS. So right now, where we're at is that we have our bullet list, and then we have our span tags in. Now we can move to the next step, which is adding the CSS class. And that is actually going to go into the unordered list, like right here in this screenshot. And I have the HTML here as well. So um, what it would be is like this, you would put class, and then the class is in, in quotation marks, PA.leaders, like that, so copy that. All right, so go in here and right after UL, add a space and then paste. So now we're targeting this bullet list. I could have done it like normal where I would add the class up in here, but because you could use this in 
different kinds of modules. Um, I figured that I would do it a little different this time, that you can target a bullet list. You could even target a bullet list within a text module or within a, a blurb or you know accordion or tab or something like that. Um, and it doesn't matter because you're putting the class literally right here with the unordered list. Okay, you're associating the CSS class with this list and now we're going to target this with a code snippet and that's going to do the trick of adding these dots. Okay, so here it is and like usual you can paste this in your theme options or in your child theme. You can read about that here. So here is the code now, I'm not going to take much time to explain all this this week, um, but you can kind of take a look at it. You can see we're targeting that unordered list, the PA dot leaders. Um, a couple of things you may want to note. Here's the max width. You can change that value. Um, basically, copy this whole thing, and just like that, it's going to be done. Okay, copy it. And when you go in here, see, I already have that set up go in here to your page, well, I'm doing page settings. Um, you can put it in your theme options or child theme, but I'm gonna paste that and I'm done. Um, that's it. It automatically does it. And actually, um, one of the things I mentioned, the width here, I could I could make this higher. See, I'm changing that. Um, and then if I was to, let's say, switch this to um, two columns, right, or something like that, or I could even duplicate it. You can see that it automatically will adjust. Here, I can even make more options for you, like that. See how it's always working. Uh, we'll just save and exit here to show it as well. Okay, pretty nice. You can make some really nice menus, and again, you could put this inside of like the tabs. Be sure to check out our plugin for that the Divi Tabs Maker. We released version 2.0 of that last week, so this would be a great thing to put in there. You know, have your tabs and then have, um, let's see, something for like, you know, your drinks and your sides and your entrees and stuff like that within the tabs. That'd be cool. Here you can go check out that plugin if you're interested. Basically just, yeah, allows you to customize everything that you can think of. It's a tabs maker. I'm um, not sure why I'm upselling you that on this tutorial, but I just thought of it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Again, we do a tutorial every single week related to Divi. Um, sometimes we get into a little more uh, code related like this. And I hope that you've enjoyed that as well. Give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you thought. And we'll see you all in the next video.